Hey guys, so you've just installed a custom ROM on your phone, but now you're wondering, how do I root it? Well, don't worry, I've got you covered. In this video, I'll show you exactly how to root any custom ROM using Majisk. And the best part is, we don't need TWRP recovery at all. Just follow along step by step and let's get started. Here I'm using a POCO F4 running a custom ROM based on Android 16. But don't worry, this root method works for all custom ROMs, no matter which Android version you're on. Now let's move on to step 1, enabling developer options. First, open your phone's settings and go to About Phone. Here, look for build number and tap it 7 times until you see the message that developer options are enabled. Once that's done, go back to the main settings and then system. You'll now see developer options listed. Here, scroll down to enable USB debugging. This will allow us to connect the phone to the PC. Now let's shift to your PC screen. On your PC, make sure you have a few files ready. The first one is the custom ROM zip that's currently installed on your phone, the exact same ROM you flashed earlier. Next, you'll need an OTA extractor tool and the platform tools, which you can find in the description link below. Now go ahead and extract the custom ROM on your computer. Let me quickly do that. Inside custom ROM folder, you should see a file called payload.bin. This is the file we'll be using to get the boot image. After that, also extract the OTA extractor and the platform tools files as well. Once you've done that, copy the payload.bin file from the custom ROM folder and paste it into the OTA extractor folder. After that, just drag and drop the payload.bin file onto payload underscore extractor dot exe to start extracting. If a warning pops up, don't worry, just click run anyway and it will begin. After a few seconds, the extraction will finish and you'll see several files in the folder. Let's wait until it's done. And yes, the files are now extracted. Here is our boot.img file. If your ROM has an init underscore boot.img instead, make sure to copy that one instead of boot.img. Now copy the boot image to your phone. I'll quickly move it over and then we'll switch back to the phone to continue with the next step. And yes, here we have our boot image. Now let's open the Magisk app on the phone and patch this file. Just tap on install, then choose select and patch a file. Pick the boot image or init underscore boot image that you just copied and Magisk will start patching it. Once it's done, a new patched file will be created inside the download folder. And yes, the patched file is now ready. Let's quickly confirm it in the file manager. Here it is, our patched boot image. Now we'll move this file back to the PC and then we can proceed with flashing it using Fastboot to root our custom ROM. Now move the patched boot file into the download folder or platform tools folder where you keep Fastboot and ADB files. This will make the flashing step easier since everything is in one place. Next, open the platform tools folder. Inside, you'll find all the ADB and fastboot files. Here, click on the address bar at the top, type CMD and press enter. This opens a command prompt directly inside the platform tools folder. Now in the terminal, type this command, ADB reboot bootloader. This will restart your phone into bootloader mode. If you see any permission request on the phone, just allow it. Once the phone is in bootloader mode, check that it's connected by typing fast boot devices. If your device ID shows up, you're good to go. Now we can flash the patched file. So type fast boot flash boot and then drag and drop the magis patched file into the terminal to complete the command. If your ROM uses initboot.img instead, then use this command. And yes, everything's done and the patched file has been flashed. Now you're ready to reboot your phone and complete the process. Now type fast boot reboot and your phone will restart back into the system. The first boot might take a little extra time. So just wait patiently until the phone starts up. And yes, the phone has booted successfully. Now let's check if Majisk is installed. I'll go ahead and open the Majisk app. And there we go, Majisk is installed. In my case, the version is 30.2. 
To double check, let's also confirm using the root checker app. And yes, root access is properly installed on our custom ROM. Everything is working perfectly. So that's it for this video on how to root a custom ROM using Majisk. If this step-by-step -step guide helped you out, don't forget to hit that like button and please consider subscribing to the channels. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.